What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Skyrim Special Edition video here for you guys on the channel. In this video specifically, we're going to be starting the Dragonborn DLC, which I believe is the last DLC that we have to tackle for this game. I'm very, very excited. Uh, we already had completed the Dongar DLC, which is a fantastic DLC all on its own, but the Dragonborn DLC is the bigger DLC, and it's going to be pretty exciting to tackle that here starting in this video. I believe this DLC is only like, you know, five hours long or something like that. It's not too long, but there's a lot of meat and substance to this DLC. So I'm pretty excited to jump into this, to say the least. If you are to do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. Uh, and just before we get into this though, I am playing this on PC and yep, there's that. Enough yapping, let's just jump right into this. I'm super stoked. All right. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Camilla, wife, I love you, but that happened decades ago at this point. Hey, what's up, Jazargo? All right. So I think in order to get this DLC started, we have to go to Windhelm. First things first, we should probably check and see uh, if... Yeah, okay, yeah. I was about to say, we have to have this activated, which we do. The Solstheim DLC is active, and I believe we have to go to Windhelm. Uh, yes, Windhelm, and it's at the stable, so we're or, well, at least around the corner from the stable. So we're gonna be going to the stables and then making our way around. Now, bring it around town. Okay. You know what I don't like? I don't like the sprint button being the left bumper. Uh, let's go ahead and change that. I'm surprised I haven't done that before, to be honest. Uh, so settings. Oh, no, wait, control. No, go down. There we go, controls. I want the sprint button to be this. And the sneak button. Where is it? This to be that. All right. Yeah, that's, that's better. It's a lot better. Uh, how would, is there, a, can I just jump up there? Yes, yes I can. No, 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 no I can't. Jump! Okay, so I might be a little screwed here. How would be the best way to get in there? That is the question of the decade. Oh, I guess I could go this way. Haha, -ha, I figured it out. Oh, one of the coolest missions is actually in here. I think this is it, actually. It's one of the best missions in the game, in my opinion. Hello. Yep, I'm about to do that right now. Um, why? Are you the captain of the Northern Maiden? Wait, what happened? Why won't you go back? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here. And they were gone. That's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. Not going back to Solstein. Uh, yes. Yes, you are. And you're taking me there. So, I suggest you get off your little, pretty little butt and help me. Have you been listening to me? Nope. I'm not going back there. Uh. Oh, you owe me big time, bruh. The guys with the mask that you were just talking about, that you brought over here from Solstein... Try to kill me. You owe me big time. All right. You have a point. Taking you back to find out who sent them is the least I can do. Good. Besides, maybe you can put a stop to whatever's going on over there. I owe them a bit of payback myself. I mean, I'll see what I can do. Oh, those trolls are amazing. 
Investigate the wretching netch. Sure. Don't know what that means. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. I am. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. I hope. Oh, I'm so uh, I'm so psyched by the way. There's a dragon flying in the sky. Outlander. Okay, search for information about Mirak. I don't recognize you. And I don't recognize you. This is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. Perhaps. Your intentions. Murder, plunder, thievery. I mean, you name it. But mainly just looking for Mirak for now. Do you know who that is, by the way? Mirak, I. I'm not sure. Who I do? Just remember Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Rhetoric. This is Morrow, not Skyrim. While you are here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Uh. Do you know who Mirak is? <laughs> what is this guy staring? Get away from me, bro! What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Alright then. Anyways, do you tell me anything at all about him at all? I could use the help here. I don't think so. I'm not. The, the name has something to do with the <laughs> earth stone. I'm not sure what. God, this guy is so annoying. I need you to leave, please. Good old Robin Hood here. Uh, why are you so suspicious of visitors? I have to be. A second counselor, the security of Raven Rock was my primary concern. Has security been an issue at all? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Counselor Morbane down. And what do your titles mean? Well, that dude just disappeared. House Redoran's representative on Solstein. A second counselor is my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. So this is purely a Dunmer set uh, se se eh, settlement. Raven Rock started out as an imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles, and House Redoran took over. We turned it around, and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, what is the city of Blacklight? Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. Oh, okay. That way ever since Mornhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. Uh, so you're basically saying that the Arg Argonians invaded Morrowind? Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain. Why it happened? Attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people? Or perhaps both? Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives. And many more were exiled from their homeland. Got it. Makes sense. Well, that sounds devastating. And something that is potentially very difficult to come back from as a civilization. I hope you guys are doing better. But I gotta go. You take care, right? Giolan, I was starting to wonder what happened. We uh, we were delayed by bad weather. Before you even ask, yes, I have the supplies you requested. But My dog is stuck over there. But what? Load cost me double what we agreed on. Nothing I can do about it. Uh oh. Damn it, Jolan, you know we don't have that much. The East Empire Company didn't give me a choice. They raised their prices again. Dun dun dun. Alright. 
I'm leaving. There's nothing interesting there. I don't know why I did that. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I gotta look at the map because I have no idea where it's telling me to go. Okay, so I gotta go around the corner. So let's go around this way. Oh, this is that Thieves Guild guy. I forgot about him. He has like one of the coolest armors. Period. I'm gonna see if we can get it at some point during this DLC because it's really, really cool. It's my favorite Thieves Guild armor. And I think it's potentially the strongest too, if, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section, but it's really, really cool. It's all the way down, like down in the bottom. It's like locked away and stuff. Aha! What are you guys doing? Okay. They sound like... Like they're brainwashed. I'm not. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? Uh, I'm looking for someone named Mirak. Do you know who that is? Mirak, Mirak. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place. Oh, wait, I recall. That makes very little sense. Mirak's been dead for thousands of years. Gasp! What are you telling me? What does that mean? Specifically. How could he be dead? He sent people to kill me. I'm not sure. But it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Nerax towards the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Okay. So what are these people doing? They seem like they're zombies. Building something. And yet, they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Interesting. Have you tried at all to stop this? Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on. And I would be unable to see how this all turns out. What if it's dangerous and it takes out the entire island? Uh, what can you tell me about Morrowind and, as a whole? There is the big island of Ardenfell, on the coastal mainland. House Telvane has its properties on Bardenfell. I've never been to the mainland myself. Uh, and what can you- well, hold on. Does he say something else? You are too young to remember the Nera. He defeated Dagoth and saved us all from the blight. Hey! It's the homeland of the Dunmer. The lesser races call us Dark Elves. We built great works there, like Udek and Aldru. Many of them are destroyed now, either by Red Mountain or the Argonian invasion. I like how you brought up the uh, the events of of uh, the the actual, you know, Elder Scrolls Morrowind. When the city of Udek was destroyed, it took decades for us to rebuild. We are still but a shadow of our glorious. Someday we will rise again. I hope you do good. That's enough yapping though. Look at these guys are praying. That's crazy. So how far do we have to go for the next area? Uh oh, MG, it is far. Temple of Mirak. Oh god. We have quite the journey ahead of us. I feel like we're gonna see quite a bit of enemy contact on the way there. Hopefully nothing too serious. Oh, there's a... There's a house we could buy, I think... I think it's that one right over there. That we could buy. That would've been funny if I killed someone on accident. I'm like, oops. Uh, sorry? Question mark? Wait, how do I get out of here? Is it through here? Yeah, I think it is. There we go. That's exactly where I need to go. Oh no, look, the guy is getting attacked. Let's go save him. I don't think I want to shoot yet. 
Let's go. Oh god, he moved. Oh, I still got him. Don't die. Don't die on me. Come on. Die, you ash spawn. Where's Shizargo? Why is he not helping me? Oh god. There we go. He's finally helping. Nice. Declaration of War. Oh man, I wanted to read that. Uh, let me see. It was called Declaration of of War. Would it be under here? There it is. <clears throat> Raven Rock Stronghold. My calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and an, an immediate uh, cessation, cessation of all hostiles have been ignored numerous times. I therefore have no choice but to assume your purpose on Soul's time is hostile and to threat Raven Rock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire. I warn you, any attempt to breach Fort Frostmoth will be met with an equal level of aggression. I will do everything in my power to wipe you and your forces off the face of Tamriel. There will be no further communications between us. Uh oh. Look at all this stuff, man. This is all stuff I could literally sell. Yeah, I could take that, but I don't want it. You. Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it up this farm alive. You're welcome. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. So, what were those things? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock, and they need to be stopped. Uh, how did you br how how did that bring you to this old farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. I mean, I can lend you a hand if you want. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind, and I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Yeah, no, I completely understand. Where should I start? We were searching the farm when the Ash Spawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. I think I already found what I need to do, so... First things first, what are these Ash Spawns? No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. They started attacking the Bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. How often do they attack? We've had two other assaults on the Bulwark, at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. You suspect there's a motivation to their attacks? Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us, and we need to find out who or what it is. And I bet you it's coming from Fort Frostmoth. Do you know someone named Mirak by any chance? Oh, come on, just tell me. I, I can't. I, I just can't be sure. I think maybe he had something to do with a temple. A, a, a temple here on the island. Does that help? Uh, I mean, kind of. Uh, why do you think the attacks uh, are from the uh, Atheus farm or Atheus farm, whatever that says? I don't. All I know is that the Aspawn are coming from this direction. So this is as good a place to start as anywhere else. Yeah, I get it. The farm's been abandoned for a long time. I'd hate to see what they would do to an unarmed farmer and his family. How long has the farm been abandoned? Not sure. I was told it was an old imperial farm that was wiped out by the eruption of the Red Mountain. Not certain who lived there. It was already a pile of rubble when I arrived in Raven Rock. Damn. Well, I mean, I already took the uh, initiative and searched the bodies, and I discovered this note on one of the ash bonds. What do you make of this? This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's Carius, but that's impossible. He's from Morrowind, the, the game. That's impossible. I mean, impossible. Why? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander of Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. 
There's no way he could still be alive. Uh, so what do you want me to do from here on out? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostman and check it out. I'm gonna head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Sounds like a plan. Me do everything all on my own. I appreciate it. He does. I want all of this. Except for the... Yeah, see, so this is... This is heavy, though. That's the only bad thing about it, but it's a full set. So I'm gonna take everything anyways. Hopefully I don't get over encumbered. Nah, I'm... I'm still good. Alright. So I have quite the distance to travel, though. So I gotta be... I have to be ready for anything. Mirak, I'm coming for you, buddy. Should we? Let's let's explore this little cabin while we're here. Oh god, what is that? Oh, it's, it's those things. Jazargo, you better stay close. This place looks suspicious. What is that? Oh god, it's more Ashbon. Help me, witch lady. Come on. Oh no, it's a killer cricket. Where'd it go? Got him. Die! I hope Jazargo doesn't get in the way. I don't want to hit him on accident. Perfect. What a shot. That was great. What is here anyways? Cast iron. Some fire. Doesn't actually look like there's anything of real value here. I could be mistaken. Ooh, what's this? Someone's house. Okay. Uh-oh. It's a reaver. Oh no, he moved. I just shot my own ghost. He killed my ghost. You bastard. You will pay for this. Ah! Haha. -ha. My dog is just chilling while I'm over here attack getting attacked and stuff. For being a deadly thing, dog, you really don't do anything, do you? I want the light armor version of all of this. Okay, well there's nothing here. What's this? Journal. I really don't want to read this. Alright, screw it. I'm not reading it. <laughs> I'll definitely take the 63 gold, though. Gladly. Cats? Cats of Skyrim? Alright. I'll be taking that. What does this letter say? Uh... Her, her, whatever his name is. Light and strength. I feel your words are not your own, and I worry dearly for your health. I beg you... Uh, I beg of you. Please depart that blasted, uh, that blasted isle and return to solitude at once. My nights have been almost impossible to bear without you. To lose you would be the death of me. My love, if you do not return, I will come for you. Bjorn Nolf. Aww. I killed someone's husband. Seemingly. Alright, let's get out of here. Good location to start off our exploration here on Solstheim. These things aren't hostile, are they? I'm watching you. Okay, yeah, I didn't think they were hostile. Am I going the right way? Because this is Fort Frostmoth. Which is a cool location all on its own, to be honest. Actually, do I want to do Frostmoth? Who's talking? Uh. 
Oh, this guy right here. Who are you? Oh, whoa! Oh god, he was flying. He killed himself! <laughs> That's hilarious. Journal of a Madman. Oh, come on, I want to read it. Journal of a Madman. I definitely want to read that one because that was hilarious. Uh, Journal of a Madman. They said it was impossible. They, not me. I knew. The book knew. It knows all, and I know all. All I need to know. To fly. They laughed. The others were afraid. Don't even try, they said. They said it was impossible. They said, not me. The book is filled with knowledge. The book fills me with knowledge. Secrets, hidden knowledge. My knowledge. I must hide the knowledge. Hide it away deep inside. I will eat the book a page at a time, slowly. Yep. Definitely a madman. Should I take this? Eh. Nah. I'm so tempted to go to Fort Frostmoth, though. Screw it. We're going to Frostmoth. We're going to get down to the bottom of of what's going on here. Hold on. Is this an actual... Yeah, we're going to be doing this first. Since it's literally right here, we might as well. I got to be careful because... If I remember correctly, this is a pretty difficult location to get through. Let me see if I can snipe this guy. Oh, how did that not hit him? He juked it! Yeah, that... Uh, well, I'm surprised that, that one actually hit him. Uh-oh. Be nice to me! Yeah, this is this place is gonna be difficult. I will not fear, I will not cower. These ash spawn will see the end of my arrow. And I shall laugh as I emerge victorious. Legit, I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Ghostly apparition, help me! Jazargo, where are you? Oh! She, uh, screamed a little late there. Headshot? Come on, stop juking me! Jazargo, I need your assistance, buddy. Finally! Sorry, ghost. Oh my god. I'm literally killing her on my own. That was a great shot. Haha. -ha. Done. Nine gold. All that for nine gold? What a shame. Alright, let's go back into stealth, because that's not the end of these guys, I suspect. Also, I hope my ghostly apparition comes back to me soon. Men, an invader has entered the fort. Oh, that's him! Oh, he's up there! Come on! Can I kill him? Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! Shut up! That'd be hilarious if I could kill him from up here. Oh, he's leaving. Uh-oh. Dude, I got him right in the mouth. Come on, Jazargo, you got this, buddy. Oh, I thought that was a bad guy. Is there anybody else? Who's shooting at me? Oh, right there. I found you. 
Wait, what the hell was that? Jazargo, I wasn't trying to hit you. You got in my way. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Together, we shall conquer the... The fort, Jazargo. I have no idea how that worked. I think we got this, to be honest. Is that all of them? That wasn't very hard. Okay, I think we're golden. Let's go ahead and enter the fort. Hiya! Come on. Got him. Oh, snap. This guy hasn't even seen us yet. Let's go. Just like, are you gonna fight? Oh, God. That was close. I gotta be ready for anything. Oh, I don't wanna... I don't want to lockpick. Okay, so I don't see any over here. Let's continue in this direction. See if we can find anyone. I don't want no iron armor. That stuff is useless. I'm going to go up here just in case there's like rubies or... Uh-oh. There's two of them up here. I got to be careful. No. Oh, dude, I really thought I was going to hit Jazargo on that one. This guy hasn't even... Okay, there we go. I was about to say, this guy hasn't even turned around towards me. Jazargo, what are you doing? He just fell off the freaking castle. Uh-oh. No. No. Oh, I'm horrible. Legolas would be disappointed. Oh, I juked him. Try to get me, buddy. Headshot. <laughs> nice. What do you have for me? Steel Imperial Gauntlets. No, thank you. Appreciate the offer, though. Come on, Jazargo. You basically made me do all of that on my own. I am disappointed and ashamed of you for do for, for for making me do everything on my own. I think I could do this. Ah! He scared the hell out of me. Oh no. Help me. Come on, die. Okay, one down. And they're distracted, so that's good. I'm worried I'm gonna hit her, though. Okay, I got him. Uh, okay, good job, Jazargo. I'm proud of you. Woo, that was scary. I really thought I was gonna die. I don't have master... I mean, I could try it, but... Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be very successful if I did. Requires key. I don't have the key. I think to get the key, you have to kill General Fox or whatever his name is. Uh, hello? Oh, you missed. Am I hitting him? How did I miss those first two? Oh, this guy is strong. Oh my god. What is going on here? I don't know what happened. None of my attacks were hitting him, it seemed like. Okay. Dog, get out of my way, please. Oh, yeah, there's a journal here, isn't there? That 
I think the journal's the only thing of value here. I'll take that again. Oh, this is the key. Okay, so I got an outfit if I want to be Legolas. Oh, crap. I, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't like reading those long journals anyways. Uh, Grand Soul Jam. I definitely will be taking that. Okay. We're golden. Let's go open that door now that we have the key. Could we open the... The other door with this key? I'm not sure. Let me see. Well, this one's first. Let's be careful. Uh, that might be your ass. Is that him? That's definitely him. We're gonna come back for him. We will definitely come back for him. Right now, I want to... Wait, hold on. Can I open this? Yes, I can. Excellent. Orcish arrows. Um, I'll take this so that I can disenchant it later. Oh my god, dog. Get out of my way. Okay. I don't... Die! Hello! Is that all of them? I'll take the pods, I guess. Oh no, they disappeared. Eh. Alright, let's go. Screw it. We are going to... Try to take him out now. But, I got a plan. Do I have Potion of True Shot? I don't know. Here, let's quick save real quick. And see if we have a Potion of True Shot. Potion. I don't see it. I have a lot of potions. I really need to sell some, don't I? A true shot right there. Excellent. Let's take that. Quick save. Let's go. Oh my god, he's strong. He hasn't seen us yet, so that's good. That is good. Get out of here, General Fox. Got him. That was good. I guess I'm gonna solo this. I take it back, Legolas would be proud. I just shot him in the wiener. I did it. I soloed it. Jazargo, you are absolutely useless. So this weapon, by the way, is freaking awesome. Oh no. Honestly, dude, that armor is beyond sick. I wish I could get it. Except now I'm over encumbered, unfortunately, so I gotta see what I'm gonna drop. I probably should have left some stuff. Oh my god, I really. I think I need to disenchant that. Uh. Okay, so I'm in a predicament here. Pretty big... You know what? How heavy am I? Uh, I'm only one over. I think I would be good by just dropping some potions that I don't need. Like Magicka, for example. So let's drop all of them. And we're no longer encumbered. A black soul gem. Okay. Ooh, health. Alright, let's get out of here. See you later, General Fox. Isn't there... 
a ladder around here? Oh, there it is right there. Is this gonna make me jump down? What? What? What's going on? Jazargo, speak to me. Oh, he's coming. Where's he going? Die! What? I don't really know what happened there. Where did he go? Ooh. Ah. Uh, the only problem with this is that it weighs 35. Oh look, he's he's downed. Nice. Would I die if I jump down? I hope not. Let me see. Nope. We're good. We're golden. Let's go ahead and make our way. Wait, hold on. Did I miss something? I missed something. Luckily, I have the key. Get out of my- Dog, I love you. But you're annoying. Okay, let me check the map, just in case. So, world map. Oh, we have to go back. I get it. We have to go back to Raven Rock. So let's get out of here. Where's that door? Oh, right here. Luckily, the loading screens aren't bad. Raven Rock. Here I come. Let's go ahead. Talk to the captain. Now that we took care of his... Problem. There he is. Hello. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? Uh, you know, the kind that you would like to hear. Specifically that I killed a General Carius. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? Magic. It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Carius's exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. He'll no longer send ash bonds to Raven Rock. I think you would like that piece of news. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Ooh, 1500, that's nice. Is it difficult commanding the Red Run Guard? It can be. Even the most experienced warriors can fall prey to petty distractions. They usually didn't amount to much, but they made my job that much harder. Uh, petty distractions? Some of my own men have become quite accustomed to the spirit they called Ember Brand Y. Despise the stuff myself. It's powerful, and tremendously addicting. I've seen men fail to finish even a single flask. If I knew where they were stashing the bottles, I'd put an end to it myself. Okay. I mean, I could track the stash uh, if you want. You would? That would be helpful. I just don't have time to do it myself right now. Any idea where I could begin the search? Uh, they're too smart to have left it in the bulwark. I'd search one of the abandoned houses on the outskirts of town. Okay. Uh, what's the unusual armor you're wearing? I already have it, by the way. Uh, this is bone mold armor. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? It's fashioned from actual bone. It's been reinforced with a resin-like material and then shaped to form the armor plating. It might appear brittle. But I'd wager it could stop the blow of a weapon better than iron or steel. I mean, it's made out of bone, so I doubt that. But hey, it's okay. Who are the Who are the Redoran Guard? All of the soldiers in this town are Redoran Guard. Some of the best warriors that House Redoran has to offer. I've spent quite a few years honing their skills, and I can assure you, they're not just your average city guard. Why have such elite soldiers on this island? To protect. Councillor Morvane, of course. Got it. He has quite a few friends on the council back in Morrowind, and they wanted to ensure his safety while he was here. Makes sense. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Good to know. Thank you. Find me that stash of wine. I'm itching to be rid of it. Uh, that might be crabs, bro. 
Might get that check. What's up, Glover Mallory? You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taking my pickaxe again. Why all the fuss over a simple pickaxe? No, no, no. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Wait, they don't? Can't you just get the guard to find him? Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Uh, well, we'll see what I can do, but really quick, quick question. Do you know someone named Mirak? No, I... wait. Maybe. I don't know how I know that name. Uh, is that a yes or a no? I'm not sure. I don't want to talk about this. How did you end up on Raven Rock? A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell, but I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Raven Rock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. Yeah, I get that. Who taught you how to repair bone mold? Bone mold armor. I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Rife, a very talented armor smith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. Uh, so. Back to what you were asking, inquiring about, specifically the ancient Nordic pa uh, pickaxe. Can you elaborate on what that is exactly? It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stalrim is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. So... Stalrim. Uh, yeah, what is that? Is that like ore? Calling Stalrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. <laughs> Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I assume it's rare. I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. Okay, good to know. I want to see what he has for sale. But I want somewhere to disenchant. Where could I find that? What's in here? I think that's... Well, maybe. I need an enchanting place. That guy's a companion, by the way. Or he can be a companion. I don't want him, though. I like Jazargo. Jazargo's my buddy. Come on, give me a, an enchantment thing. Oh my god, dog. Why are you always getting in my way? You just love doing that, don't you? You love annoying me. Oops. I don't want to do that. Maybe behind the merchant? Nope. Welcome to the wrecking next door. Okay, so nothing here. Let's check next door and see if we can find an enchantment workbench. Or workbench, what am I talking about? Uh, oh, that's a house. That's not a... Huh. Wait. No, yeah, that's for... For uh, whatever it's called. Abandoned building? Oh, is this the house I can buy? Hmm. Let's check in his in Mallory's house. Nope, we can't check in Mallory's house. There's bound to be an enchantment workbench somewhere around here. Morvin Manor. There it is. Perfect. Let's see if I can disenchant anything. I'm not disenchanting that. But this, absolutely. Okay, so that means everything else I'm going to sell. Uh, where... How do I get out of here? Hey, you, who are you? Uh, 
behalf of House Redorin and as Counselor of Raven Rock, I bid you welcome. That's nice. Do you know someone named Mirak? Do I? What a strange thing. It sounds so familiar, and yet I cannot place the name. Nobody knows who Mirak is, and yet they do know who he is at the same time. That's strange. Can you tell me anything at all about him? I'm not even sure. I can picture a temple here on Solstein. Must have been a bad dream. Or you're on drugs. Uh, do you rule all of Solstein? Solstein is theoretically under my rule. But without revenue from the mine, I lack the resources to actually govern anything but Raven Rock itself. Not that there's much beyond the confines of our town anyway. Raven Rock, the only, uh, the only settlement on the island? Well, there's a small enclave of Nords to the north in Skull Village. They pretty much keep to themselves, and we both like it that way. Then there's Telmithrin to the east. The Telvani live out there. Sort of a strange lot. But since we're both from Morrowind, we get along. Other than that, Solstheim is crawling with bandits and reeklings. But that's to be expected living in a frontier like this. Good to know, good to know. Uh, so what happened to the mine? It used to be one of the richest ebony mines in Morrowind. But it dried out years ago. Now, we're barely holding out here. Without the mine, Ravenrock doesn't feel like it can last much longer. Wow. So what is House Redoran? You've never heard of House Redoran? We're the mightiest of the great houses, and we lead the council, the ruling body of Morrowind. Council? You mean there's no Jarl? This isn't Skyrim, Outlander. A group of powerful and influential Dunmer families have been ruling Morrowind for millennia. They embody a council made up of five great houses. Telvani, Drez, Endoral, Sadras, and Redoran. But you said Redoran leans the council, correct? Well, of course. With four other houses on the council, someone has to keep the rabble organized. Our house leads the council by virtue of our preeminence in battle, wisdom, and ancestral glory. Sounds rather complicated if I do say so myself. Yes. I imagine it would to someone not of our people. If you're interested in pursuing the subject, Help yourself to any of the historical volumes in my library. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Nice to meet you, though. My doors are open. Yep. <laughs> I just left them halfway through the conversation. All right, let's go back to that one merchant. Who was it? Uh, actually, Mallory. Let's just talk to Mallory. Stay out of my way. We'll do just fine. Shut up. Glover Mallory's the name. Yep. What do you have for sale? Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Alright, first things first, we're gonna sell him some stuff. Cause I got a lot of things that I gotta sell him to make room. And... Is it mostly armor? Alright, I need to sell him this. That. That. Uh-huh. And yeah. I guess that's, that's everything. Uh... Yeah, let's see what he has for sale. So he has the bone mold armor that I don't need because I've already found it. Oh, he has the chintin armor too. Chintin. I can't pronounce that, not gonna lie. Let me see. Nothing... It's quite worth it yet. At least nothing that'll benefit me. Ooh, that is seriously a cool bow. But no, thank you. These Nordic weapons and armor are freaking awesome, by the way. Too bad I'm not a Nord. I'm an Imperial, so... Sorry. Alright. Yeah, we're good. Okay, that's good to know. Let's go back to this mission. How far is it again? It's very far. I think it's probably best, since I don't have to run all the way down here, it's probably best if I fast travel to Fort Frostmoth 
and then run all the way up there. So let's go ahead and do that. 